A black supporter of the Confederate flag dies on his way home from a rally to save a Confederate monument. The audacity to go up and take down the Confederate battle flag. Now, investigators are trying to determine just what caused this deadly crash. of Anthony Hervey at a pro-Confederate rally. Anthony Hervey was killed in a deadly car crash coming back from a rally. He was a Confederate flag supporter. And, you know, today the Department of Justice announced that it will pursue federal hate crime charges against Dylan Roof. Remember, he was the shooter in South Carolina, Charleston, who murdered nine people at the Mother Emanuel Church. And so people now are certainly talking about the Confederate flag. It has been an issue on everyone's minds. And now you have an African-American man who is a supporter of the flag, which is unusual, let's face it, who is now dead. Let's bring in the lawyers. Let's bring in Alex Sanchez. He's a defense attorney. And also Daryl Cohen, another defense attorney. And my question to you is, given these circumstances, where you have allegedly, perhaps, a group of black men in a car pursuing another black man who is a Confederate flag supporter and who may have been known to them as a Confederate flag supporter. Could this possibly be a hate crime? Uh, Sonny, based upon the information that we have right now, I don't see how anyone could possibly extrapolate from the facts that we have that there was a hate crime. I didn't hear anything about somebody cursing somebody out because of their race or religion. And the first thing you need to do is to find out if there was a crime committed at all. Were the people following the uh, Mr. Herbie trying to ride, you know, run him off the road or were they engaged in some other type of criminal activity? So you must first get over that obstacle, then you need to get over the second obstacle, whether or not there was any hate-related speech. And I don't see it at the present time. Well, Mr. Sanchez, what do you think? I mean, if investigators find that he was run off the road, what would have to be shown to prove this was a hate crime? Well, if, you, if they intentionally try to run him off the road, then you have a crime. Maybe attempted murder or reckless endangerment or something like that. But to get to the next level, you would have to show that their motivation was based upon race. And how do you do that? You'd have to show that they were cursing at him and using, you know, uh, some type of uh, racial epithets against him or some other type of evidence indicating that their motivation was racial in nature. Daryl, do you agree? 